Hello and welcome to Kebab Shop Simulator. Once again, this is a prologue. We have been raiding that uh, prologue section of Steam. So today, oh my god, there's a naked man on my screen. Today we're going to be looking at Kebab Shop Simulator. One of the comments uh, was that this is actually a Turkish man simulator. Or a lady, apparently. I think we'll go with a man. Um, yeah, so looks like a nice little restaurant simulator. We've got some good colour skin options. Belly fat. Oh dear. No, I don't really want to be fat in real life and on a game. Arms. Scrawny. Now we've got somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. A little bit toned. The butt. Can't even see my butt. Let's get a little side profile. Oh, it's a bit pointy. I think that's probably a slider for when people choose the lady version. Little handlebar tash and a, a bit of a quiff. I like it. Oh my god, a Viking hair. Some dreads. I'm not going to judge people's hair. Mine's quite basic, to be fair. Just a standard short back and sides. Oh, there's a little chef's hat. I like that. Oh, that's some good hats, actually. Shame the hair doesn't stay under the hat. I've not quite moulded the, uh, the hats properly. That's pretty much accurate, I guess, to my hair colour. Bit, probably a bit dark, but... There's a lot of glass choices here. But yeah, I saw this one on the uh, the Prologue Steam demo section. I was like, do you know what? I haven't done a restaurant simulator for a little while. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give it a little try. The Beer Factory Simulator is up on the channel as well. There was a couple of episodes of that. I think there's three episodes in the end. Uh, that was a fun little prologue, um, which will, hopefully, I will definitely be playing a bit more of. Um, get a few more likes on the videos and let me know that that's the sort of thing that you like and we will definitely be doing some more recording as I said before I do like this sort of simulation game you guys seem to enjoy it as well um, and it makes quite nice content you know content you can just sit back relax watch me play it sometimes it goes well sometimes it doesn't but you never know what's gonna happen um, but yeah kebab shop simulator I do like a kebab I like a, I like a German Donner kebab Right, sandboxed mode. So I think that's the only mode we can do in this prologue part of the game. Uh, unlock the neighborhood. Oh, that's my dad apparently. Father, okay. Fair enough. I'm not sure why. What's going on? Can't move anything. Mm. Ah, right, there we go. Uh, at least, yep, yeah, that's fine. Give me the key. Give me the key. Why can't I click the key? Why? What am I doing? Oh. Right. Let's clear that off. Don't know what that was. Now we can move around. That makes sense. Right. We have got the key. We need to enter the restaurant. I'm assuming it's this one. Closed. Look at that. Nice corner plot. Very nice. Lots of light windows and it's an absolute shit tip in here. Oh, please help yourself. Come on in. Right then. Let's turn this light on and see what we're working with here. Good corner plot, lots of light, and quite a mess. We've got one table there that's a bit broken, but okay, we can work with it. We can work with it. Uh, he just basically wants me to, to tidy up, really, doesn't he? Yeah, there we go. Clean the dirt on the floor and the walls, pick up some trash. What do I do with the trash? Where do I, where do I put the trash? In there? No. What do I do with the trash? Oh, there's a bin right behind me. In the bin? Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, well, we've got to press and hold. Okay. Right. Drag that out a bit. What? Five bottles makes one bin bag. Have a word. That's not going to be a bin bag, surely. It was. Right. That is all of the rubbish. Now we just have to clean the dirt off the floor. Oh, nice little bubble action there. That's quite satisfying. There's only a few of these to do. And number three, there it is. Give that a little scrub. Mm. Right, what have we got to do now? Uh, okay. Not too bad. There's a nice little plot, actually. Do you know, I know he's waffling down there, but we've got a good corner plot. We've done very well here. Open the tablet. Uh, tab, right. Warehouse. Uh, surface. Surface. 
Oh, okay. How much money have we got? We've got 13 and a half grand. Damn. Let's make it brick for now. I quite like the brick effect, to be fair. That feels a bit... That feels kind of kebab shoppy. Apart from German dollar kebab, to be fair. There's um, the one in Milton Keynes in the UK. is very modern. It's all black and LED-like. Certainly not exposed brick and wood floors. But, hey-ho, this is my shop. This is what we do here. Looks pretty good. I'm glad that there wasn't too in-depth in the building part. Um, oh, can't I just center storage or sell? Oh, can't I just fix it? Oh, uh, I can't fix in the tutorial. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh well, so if this was the real game, I could fix it and probably save myself a bit of money, but you can't do it in the prologue, so we'll just destroy it. Or sell it. I don't know. Sell it for zero is, is basically destroying. Let's just get rid of that as well. Cool. So I think we're going to have to decide where we want to put our kitchen soon, aren't we? So... Oh, we've got some furniture. Let's put some furniture down. So I'm thinking tables by the window. Because you want to look busy. People walking past. You want them to see they're in there enjoying their food. I think the bigger table. More table, more people. That's going to make sense, isn't it? We've got 13 grand. We could do whatever we want. We've got some good colours options as well. I'm going to go for the basic, I think. I like that. Oh, it's quite big. Shit, I didn't realise how big it was. But I think in the corner, that'll be quite nice. Tuck that in the corner. Where can we get to? We can get to there. So the, oh, that's against the wall. And then we'll put one in this window. It's not too close. I think that lines up with the, the floorboard. And I'm going to do one on this window as well. I know he's rattling on down there, but that'll look nice. So that's four, eight, twelve customers we can serve. Good start. Right, what do we need? We need uh, copper, not copper, corner countertop. That fella. Right, so I'm thinking the kitchen is obviously going to be at this end. Right, let's put the counters in. We've got to put the kitchen sink. Oh, okay. Is that going to fit there? Oh, look at that. Like a glove. Perfect. Uh, we need to buy a grill. And a meat grinder. So that's the meat grinder. Probably don't want that near the sink. So I'm going to put the meat grinder up this end. I think it have a workflow. So we grind the meat here and then prep it and put it on the grill or something I'm assuming I don't really know we will soon find out together grill oh it's got like a chimney to it oh shit it's huge can I put it on the floor no why would you put it on the floor I'm thinking on the work surface is good because then you can see it that's quite chunky isn't it maybe maybe on the corner here next to the meat grinder. So I grind the meat. I put it there, then they could see it from the restaurant. That could be quite nice. No, that's too close to the sink. Because what happens if there's plates? I think there looks good. Cool. Uh, I need a knife rack and a spice rack. I do love a bit of, bit of online shopping. Don't have to wait for Amazon Prime here. This just comes immediately. Spice rack. Oh, do I not get any spices with it? Is it just a bit of wood? Oh, feels like a bit of a con. How much was this? Uh, it's 500 quid for a bit of wood. Christ. Oh, well. Oh, no, there's two spices in it. Odds on that being salt and pepper. Uh, right, that's that done. Now we have to place a service counter and a plate cabinet. Uh, that is a plate cabinet, plate shelf. Is that the right thing? It says plate cabinet. That's a cabinet, isn't it? It's got plates in it. Uh, let's whack that here so it's fairly close to the meat cooking area. And a service counter. That's nice and cheap. 
bright. Ah, oh, okay, so that looks like where the food is going to be put. So again, we're going to want that fairly close, but I'm not going to put it in the kitchen. I think just on the outside, right in front of the toilet door, is a lovely place to put that. Just the one? I think I've only just one. I don't know if you'll be able to put more than one dish on it or not. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Right. Go to the market. So, we now have to go and buy our supplies. But yeah, looking good. You're just going to stand there and wait for me. Alright, see you in a bit. Market. Market. Oh, we've got butchers over here. And a market over there. Okay. And oh. there's another shop there as well. And then, nice, okay. Right, so this is the market, right. So not the fruit market that I thought. This is like a shopping market. I wouldn't call this a market, I'd call this a department store. Not really a department store. Yeah, just like a hardware store, I guess. Cool, right, we've got all of the stuff we need for that. Head to there mm. and put it in the restaurant. Looking pretty good as a setup of a kebab shop, to be fair. Looking all right. What am I doing with the box? Why won't the box... Ah, oh, there we go. Bit slow there. Take everything out of the box. Well, that's a very simple instruction there, isn't it? And I fucked it. <laughs> how, how do you take it out of the box? Pick. Pick up? No. What? Take, pick up. But that's the same, it does the same thing. Oh. Well, that was embarrassing. <sighs> uh, kindling, I reckon just keep that on the side. I don't know how much we're going to use. Like, right, that's the last bit. So, pop our skewers down for the kebabs. We've got two mixing bowls, we've got two kebab skewers, we've got a couple of kindling and some charcoal. Should be a good start. Right, now we need to open up the restaurant menu and add our first recipe. This is exciting. So we have gone for a simple kebab plate. This is Kebab Shop Simulator, after all. So a simple kebab is pretty good. Right, what have we got then? Meat, tail fat. Ugh, the fuck is that? Salt, pepper, mint meat, add the grains, pepper, add a skewer. Mixing bowl, detach the skewer. Oh my god, right, fine. So we need to go and buy some meat. Which was left, right? Butchers, yes, there it is. I don't know what tail fat is. Uh, ribeye chunks, good. Ribeye steak is a nice is a nice cut of meat, that. I don't mind a ribeye. That doesn't look like a ribeye, but I'm not going to hold it against them. Tail fat. I don't even want to know what that is. And it does make me question what is going into my kebabs. IRL. But it's best not to think of that when you are drunk just trying to find something to eat. Right. Meat secured. Back to the restaurant. And let's pop this down here. Get out of the way. Right. So we get our ribeye. Yeah, it sort of looks like a ribeye. It's a bit more marbled than a ribeye. Pop that up there, and then we get our lovely sounding tail fat. Oh, it is like a globule of fat. Look at it. It almost looks like a fucking jacket potato. Right, let's pop that onto there. So that's the last bit of fat. Right, so preparation. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've got, we got a customer. Shit, we don't have anything ready. New order? Ah, right. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we need to get the... How do I get rid of this? Mixing bowl. Pop that up to there. Uh, grind meat in the meat grinder. That's over here. So, ribeye chunks, which I've got. Oh no, slice a ribeye chunk. Oh, okay. So that turns it into, aha, that turns into a slice. Let's pop that back. Grab one of those and pop it in the grinder. Smashing. Right, and then we do the same with the tail fat. So we need to slice that. 
Wonderful. Right, that is now popped back in there. Grab these disgusting looking chunks and add it to the bowl. Good. Salt and pepper. Can't be doing a kebab without any seasoning. Oh, don't watch. Shit, that's probably far too much. Fuck it. Whack it in there. The more they eat, the more they'll drink. Is there drinks? Is there drinks in this game? I don't know. It's just a prologue at the end of the day. Bit of pepper. Nice little bit of seasoning, making it taste good. We've got some coal into the grill. Oh, that was a satisfying noise. I enjoyed that. Oh my god, that was a whole bag of coal. Christ. Lovely bit of kindling in there as well. Ignite and get going. Smoking, smoking. Right. Um, I need my skewer. Let's close that out of the way. Skewer. Oh, look at that. Nice fire. Lovely. Right. Meat. And then pop it on the grill. And done. Right. Cool. That guy over there has been waiting fucking ages. What do I do with it now? How do I... How do I get it off the skewer? Put it back on there. Keep it warm. Oh no, shit. That's going to burn. Ah, uh, shit. No, don't turn it over. Ah. Take it off. Right. Oh, I put it on a plate. Uh, well, I can't put it down. Oh, fuck's sake. Health and safety there. I've put raw meat and cooked meat next to each other, but fuck it. Food standards agency doesn't exist. Uh, skewer onto plate. And then we take the plate over to the service desk. Service. Four portions done. So then I have to serve it as well, I assume. Yes, that's three portions. Right, where is he? Oh, he's so angry. I'm so sorry, but you did come in before I... Kn mm. Oh, that's the dad. Oh, I thought there was a customer. I misunderstood that completely. Oh, he paid for it. Nice. Hundred dollars! For a mm. kebab! Mate, they're like... Fifteen quid for a bougie one. Not even gonna clean up after yourself, filthy bastard. Mm. I guess I'll do it, shall I? Let's chuck that over there. Uh, now what? Right. Well, let's clean up the plate. Nice little scrub a dub dub. Keep that nice and clean. And pop it back in there. Why is that nineteen out of twenty? How does that work? I don't know. Oh, I'm not really listening to you down there, bro. This is a sort of game where it's nice if it's voice acted. Because I don't really read it. But, there we go. That's our introduction to Kebab Shop Simulator. If you are enjoying this sort of series, please give the video a like. And pop a little comment down below. And I shall see you in the next episode. See you in the later, gamers.